What's going on guys? This is Poker Stacked and I'm going to be talking about the best free online poker sites to be playing in 2020 and beyond. Okay, so Ignition Poker, this is currently one of the best places you can be playing. Now, they've obviously got real money games on here as well as play money games. So I'll have some uh, links in the description and comments if you guys want to sign up get started here. I do want to break down this uh, 5, 10, no limit real money six person cash game session i got into was pretty crazy also you guys are watching this if you could smash the like button on this video i would uh, greatly appreciate it now um you know <laughs> five ten no limit these are pretty big stakes uh you know it was a thousand dollar buy-in so that's a lot of money um you know and uh i had a really good hand in here where we uh you know doubled it to uh two thousand so i'm gonna break down that hand a little bit here because it was pretty crazy and um i think that you know explaining my thought process on it uh would definitely uh help you guys out there if you're trying to like improve your game now the thing about playing you know with play and free money is that you know the competition when you're playing they really don't care so you're gonna get a lot of bad plays a lot of bad players and you know i think that you know when you actually like make the leap into playing for real money you can obviously start at the lower stake games but it just makes more sense long term to you know start with real money because you're gonna play against people who you know are gonna actually try so i mean when you get better at this game you can start to read people make bluffs you know things like that it's just going to help you out long term as opposed to just playing for play money but obviously you can do that too if you want i'm just saying like if you want to take the game a little bit more seriously you know playing with real money is always going to be the way to go uh so if you do opt in for real money on ignition the cash outs are very fast on here you can get your money out in almost 24 hours in most cases uh via bitcoin but they do have bank wire as well so anyways the hand that we got here is an ace jack suited pretty uh pretty nice looking hand this is only like my second or third hand of this uh of sitting down so it's always nice to get a nice looking hand like this um but you know two players uh are gonna go to the flop with me on this hand and it was like one of those situations where you're like you know you got to make a decision so uh i'll tell you what this this hand was pretty crazy so we're gonna wait for it to come around a little bit here i've got it kind of running a little bit on slow motion so i could break down this hand but but i'm going to make the call here uh just a straight call no reason to re-raise kind of like based on where i'm at player three however is going to pop it i think he raises it up to like 90 or 120 dollars so kind of puts you at a decision when you're sitting on like an ace jack because you know you're going to be behind most of the time if you make that call going to the flop you know because the only reason i made the call here was because i was suited otherwise i would have mucked this hand right away All right, so he's gonna get it in. He's gonna raise it up here. <clears throat> and uh, after he does raise it, you know, I put him on basically aces, kings, queens, you know, ace, king, anything like that. That's kind of like what I had this guy on because he wanted, he wanted to get it up. I mean, he could have just made the call if he had like pocket tens or jacks or something. But player four is going to make the call, and then I'm going to make the call, and we're going to take it to the uh, the flop, which is a pretty insane flop. Okay, so I did have to think about it, but I am going to make the call um, just because I was suited. Like I said, otherwise this would have been an easy muck for me, but couldn't do it. Now check out this flop, guys. I mean, insane. Uh, 10, 4, deuce. Couple clubs out there, and we're sitting on the club draw. Now, player 3 checked it. Player 4 checked it, which put me at a decision. You know, we've already got, you know almost $400 in the pot. So I had to make a decision here. And I thought about if I just bet, I figured I'd probably get called. So I decided 
we're going to get it all in here. I mean, if I'm behind, I'm behind. Uh, but at the same time, maybe someone's got like pocket queens or kings and I'll still have some outs if I can hit an ace. But player three is going to make the call and, you know, he's going to turn over what I kind of figured he might have had. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a couple uh, couple cards we're going to need to uh, hit on this um, on this board. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble. Okay, so he makes the call. Player four is going to fold. I almost wish that player four would have called because we would have been looking real good. All right, he's got pocket aces. I don't blame him for calling. Uh, we missed it on the turn, but we are going to hit it on the river, guys. All right, I hope you enjoyed this hand. Uh, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, get started on ignition. I'll have links in the description and comments, and we'll see you in the next one.